Hi, my name is Raleigh Binti Rosli. We matured number CP190093. Hi, my name is Irina Arisa Kistina Binti Ahmad Zamili and my matured number is CP190094. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Masitah Binti Abu Bakar and my matured number is CP190106. Hi, my name is Nolan Damiti Mazani. We will take a number CP1906. So, let's start the presentation. Alright, I will present uh, two things which is uh, introduction and also the, our big design. Okay, this project is to encourage students to apply their knowledge on structural mechanics and to solve practical problems by designing model of a bridge, which is railway bridge, and fostering uh, effective communication between the members during completing the task given. Okay. These uh, tasks have been carried out in two ways, which is by using a LIMPO, LIMPO software, and also by using the manual calculations. Okay, the bridge is a structure that spans a physical barrier such as a body of water, a valley, a road, or a railway without interrupting the path underneath. It is uh, built to a low passage of the obstacle which is generally something that is difficult or impossible to cross otherwise. Okay, this is our upper plan view sketch. You can see uh, the yellow is the clear expanse and on the left, also on the right side, which is it is a abutment, half of it is under the clear span, which is uh, we can see the clear span plus with the abutment made the bridge is equal to 10,000 in meter which is it is overall of the bridge okay the side plan view sketch okay you can see the udl is equal to uh, 2000 kilograms which is we will uh, form it to the load like 196 kilonewton per meter and also on the left we so can see the pin and also on the right we can see the roller support okay and yeah, the blue one is our I beam, which is the size is 305 times 305 times 280 uh, millimeter. So let's see, this is our 3D drawing. Okay, it is a major of the bridge that we have formed. And yeah, I think that's all for me. Thank you. Next, I will continue on the result of LIMPRO 27 software. So this is our free body diagram of plan trust. We use the pin and roller support so that our bridge is stable and we put the uniform distributed load for the overall length plan trust is 19.61 kN. In this case, we obtain the value of E modulus of electricity as stated in the slides. And by this value, we can prove that our bridge structure using steel material. Alright, by this design, it will come up with the value first is reaction. Both our pin and roller support is 98.50 kN. Next, uh, it is a shear force diagram. And then this is moment diagram. We also get the axial force diagram where we can determine the internal force. If this force moves away from the members, it is known as a tension. And when it towards the members, it is known as a compression. As you can see, uh, the blue line is compression and the red line is tension. From the result, we come up with the table. So the table shows the detail of value internal force. If the value is negative, it is compression. And if the value of positive, it is tension. And last, this is our deflection result. We obtain the deflection value at the center of span bridge is 0 0.000307. And by using the formula 1 less than 1 divided by 360 times beam span, and the result is okay. In terms of deflection, this can be proved that our bridge able to manage the 2000 kg load applied. That's all from me. Thank you. I will present about the manual calculation for design model of bridge. So this is our group free body diagram of bridge. The uniform distributed load can uh, on bridge is 2000 kg for overall length of bridge. But uh, we need to convert it from kilogram to kilometer. So the new UDL is 19.61 kN per meter for overall length. Um, to determine, the point load is 19.61 kN per meter times 10 meter. So we got the point load is 196. Uh, point 10 kilonewton then we choose the whole number is 196 kilonewton only as a point load 
So the point load is located at the center span of the bridge which is at joint D. And also, we use the pin and roller support for our bridge. Determinacy of stability bridge. So, M equal to 21 because we have 21 members. R equal to 3 because uh, we have pin support have 2 directions and roller support has 1 direction. So, we have uh, 12 joints. We use equation M uh, 2J minus R. Then, we substitute it in the equation. So, we got 21 equal to 21. We use the equation M equal to 2J minus R so it is stable and internal and external forces determinate R equal to 3. Reaction of the support. We use some Fx to get the direction of Rbx equal to 0 kN. Uh, we use some moment at B to get the, the reaction at F. So we got the Rfy is 98 kN. After that we use some Fy to get the Rby is 98 kN. The forces of bridge, we use uh, methods of joints because it is very suitable for us to get the value of every joint. As we can see that for joint B and joint F, we got the same answer for sum Fy for FBK and FFI equal to negative 117.6 kN, so it is compression. And for sum Fx for FBC and FFE equal to 65.3 kN, so it is a tension. So, we get the internal forces of bridge. The zero force members consist of 30 members. For tension, it consists of 5 members. And lastly, for compression, consists of 2 members. This is the table that we list out the members and forces that we got from the calculation. As we can see, to determine the tensions and compressions are based on the values that we obtain from the calculation. If it is positive value, so it is a tension. The negative value is called a compression. Comparisons internal forces between LIMPRO 27 and manual calculation results, we can say that the percentage of differences between LIMPRO 27 and manual calculation is quite okay. So my part is about the conclusion and recommendation. Okay, the conclusion is um, there are 13 zero force members have been detected in our project. And then there are also have different value for the internal forces between the LIMPRO 27 software and the manual calculations. We chose the uh, LIMPRO 27 answer value because it is more sophisticated in what it, and it is a guidance to our project. Okay, we get to develop the understanding and knowledge of our bridge model where we carried out the detailed procedures and analysis. It also helps us uh, putting into the real view of the modeling bridge. Okay, the next one is recommendations. Okay, from this project, it must be able to improve more on load carrying capacity of the bridge. Uh, of the bridge. So there are four recommendations that can be used to improve. The first one is uh, granite stone. Granite stone is um, it can facilitate the construction of the bridge, and then uh, it is a nature of frost. It is low absorption value and higher compressive strength and it is more economical in durability. The second one is uh, reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete are uh, able to provide high level of flexibility. It also can improve the durability of the concrete and have more compressive strength. The third one is fiber reinforced polymer. Okay, fiber re reinforced polymer can improve the load carrying capacity and effectively extending the service life of the structure. And it is also less disruptive solution to the bridge. And the last one is damper and other flexible material okay uh, it allow bridge to bear more load actually and it also absorb uh, vibrations for any movement of the bridge so that's all from us thank you bye, bye.